Okay, we're going to be testing my very first homemade rocket motor. Let's see how it goes. I think it worked. Cool. Okay, this is my second motor. This one's got a core drill. It's not just an inburn, so it's going to be higher pressure, and it's um, I got a lot longer uh, burn to it because I uh, made it a lot longer rocket motor. Oh, the fuse went out. Okay, we're going to try this again. Last time the fuse didn't light, but this has got uh, a lot longer rocket motor, as you can probably see. And it's got more fuel, and it's got core drilled for a, a couple inches. Let's see how she does. Too much core drill. Okay, here's what happened. The uh, it all held except the back plug. I didn't get the pl back plug. Uh, must not have been hammered in. Not enough of it. That's what blew out. That was loud. <laughs> okay, this is where it blew out below the vise. Some debris down there. Uh, I'm not sure where the clay plug went unless it just scattered all over the place. But. Uh, Anyway, doesn't doesn't appear to have set the uh, thing on fire. Okay, this one is the same motor casing. It's uh, got the same amount of fuel. It's got a better end plug, and I drilled the core less deep, so it's not going to be quite as much pressure to start with. Let's see what we can do. Oops, didn't go. Let's try it again. That was pretty good. You could tell I had a core at core burn at the first and then went to an end burn, which was a lot slower. Okay, I uh, cut the motor down the middle and uh, across the middle so I could split it in half and show what it looks like on the inside. This is the nozzle end over here and this is the uh, plug end over here.